I'm Samantha Ferguson and I live in Hoover, Alabama. I have two amazing kids. I have a 13 year old who is Sarah and I have a 15 year old who is Elijah. My mom and dad were together until they, I was about four and then I was raised with my dad until I was 11 and then got put in foster care for a year and then moved in with my mom here in Birmingham and then that didn't go so well so then I moved uh, back into foster care. My dad had way, a lot of chaos when he was young and was abused when he was young. Um, and he was just trying to raise me in the way that he thought was best. I was raising myself probably at the age of six. And, and now as an adult, I'm like, that's not okay. I can't imagine my kids now raising, doing the things I did when I was six. My mom had a boyfriend who uh, was abusing me at the time. And I told someone that I was getting abused. And um, unfortunately my mom, sided with her boyfriend and said I don't believe her and she can't stay in my house anymore. And so that was the first time from here that I was put into foster care. I first came to the Presbyterian home um, when I was 12 years old. It was right before my 13th birthday and I didn't even know if anybody was going to remember it and um, I had just been through so, such a hard season. For me arriving in the home it was actually a blessing. It was scary at first um, but to me, I, I was in such a chaotic place. There was a reason why I was put in foster care. I shouldn't have been where I was. And so for me arriving in the home, it was, it was going from absolute chaos and completely taking care of myself to going to a place where meals were, create, were cooked, actually cooked for us. Um, we actually sat around a table. We, I never had gotten that experience before. Um, I mean, it was more like going into a family which is what I'm trying to create for my kids now, but that was something I had never experienced before. I had two house mothers there, they were two sisters, and they served, they were there when I was there, and they just, they showed me where everything was, they introduced me to everything, everybody, and they said, we're gonna have dinner at this time, you know, whatever you need, we're here for you. Um, they just really tried to make it a place where I felt like I was in a family. And the best part that they did, which was just incredible, was the next day was my birthday, and um, they had me a birthday cake, they had me a card, they sang, they sang birthday, happy birthday to me. Like, it, they really made it special and I just didn't even know if anybody would even remember that it was my birthday. It was incredible. The first time I walked into the door, what was so amazing about the Presbyterian home is it looked like a house. And so you walk in the front door and there's a living room and there's a kitchen and um, one side was for the girls and the other side was for the boys and it had a basement with, a vid with video games and like normal kid stuff. That's not anything I had in my house. Um, it had a fridge full of food. That was not something I had in my house. And so for me it just felt like, it felt like a home with lots of brothers and sisters. Um, I knew the way that I was growing up was not normal. Um, I don't really know where that came from, but I just knew that that's not how I, what I wanted for my kids. I think the home for me really helped with the fact that I saw what I could do for myself with my children. Like I could be at home when they got home. I could make meals for them and be together. Like we could operate as a family. Up until that point, I had never seen that before. I felt like I was in survival mode my entire, entire life. So I think what the home did for me was just being able to see that, wow, I, I think I can do this for my kids. And this is what I want for my family. I'm going to stop the cycle of abuse and neglect. And for me, I'm going to stop that for my kids and give them what they deserve. 